So, this seems to be the last location. How do we get in? I'll handle this. Hello, my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my hamster. Father. That's not even a person! Stand aside, amateur. Hi there. We represent the Broadway Better Business Players for a Brighter Tomorrow. We're trying to start a petition to get second-rate shows taken off the marquee. And with your help, we can stop Mamma Mia from ever playing again. Oh, thank goodness. Come in, come in. <laughs> you know, for a second there, I thought you were all insane. Oh, no, 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 no. Is that duct tape? According to this, we must dig through the floor to find the voice of the ancient world. And once found, he will lead us to the gaunt. Then let's get digging. I have a basement. What are you doing here? That's a very good question. And the answer is, you're not the only one that has an internet show to shoot, you know? Yeah, but what are you doing in this woman's house? I think the real question is, what is she doing in my house? Whatever. Is there a voice of the ancient world down here? Certainly. It's right back there. Something tells me it's in there. That's the box of a carpenter. It says that the voice has been around longer than time itself, and that it has all the answers we need. Well, here goes nothing. Yeah, what? Are you the voice of the ancient world? Yeah, what about it? You don't sound very ancient. And you sound like an ass, so what's it to you? Nante, she today none at all. Yeah, your mother was a bitch and your father was a bull. I guess it makes you a bullshit too. <laughs> so what do you pricks want? I'm a voice. I got shit to do. Hey, you're not very nice. Oh, hey, 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 guess what? What? Fuck you. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Hey, 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 look, we're getting carried away here. Look, voice, we're not here to start anything. We're just here to learn about the gauntlet, Malachite's hand. Malachite's hand? Now that I know a great deal about. How much do you know? Everything. Long ago, in the early years before the Common Era, there lived two good friends, an alchemist and a sorcerer. The alchemist was named Aeon, the sorcerer was named Malachite. Both were the absolute masters of the craft. Aeon taught Malachite the ways of science, chemistry, metal, and wheels. In turn, Malachite taught Aeon the ways of magic, spells, sorcery, and the secret rites of the occult. But then the great king summoned Aeon to his throne, for he was his most trusted advisor. The king told Aeon he wanted to devote all his power into creating the strongest force on earth. So he asked which was more powerful, science or magic. If magic was chosen, Malachite would be put in charge, and though Aeon was a good friend, he knew that Malachite had a dark, brooding heart, and could not risk his power possibly destroying the land. So Aeon responded, in reason and science is where our future lies. The king agreed and gave Aeon all the control he needed to perfect his craft. Once word reached Malachite of this news, he felt betrayed and challenged Aeon in a battle to the death. Malachite created a magic stone that would give him unlimited power. He attached this stone to his gauntlet, also known as Malachite's hand. But Aeon, through the science of alchemy, crafted a ring made from lodestone that could reflect Malachite's magic back to him. So the battle begun. The two fought for hours, science versus magic, light versus dark.
mountains crumbled and the world shook. But in the end, it was Aeon who rose triumphant. But because of their friendship, Aeon did not kill him. Instead, he removed the gauntlet and buried it somewhere safe in the depths of the earth. For every time a sorcerer uses magic, he drains his life force, and the gauntlet was the only thing that gave Malachite eternal magic with no repercussions. So Malachite stopped using magic, allowing him to live longer and longer, watching the world of magic fade and the world of science and technology consume the earth. Thus he spent the rest of his days vowing to find the gauntlet again and destroy the pitiful world that science and technology had created. How is it this Malachite can live so long? One of the first spells he casted with the gauntlet was Eternal Youth, so he can live as long as he wants, so long as he doesn't use any more magic. What happened to Aeon? What happened to him and his creations? Hell if I know. He probably died like anyone else. His creations passed down through time, setting off a chain of events that evolved into the technological world we see today. We're actually trying to find the gauntlet that Malachite's looking for. You know where it is? No, oh, fuck no. I ain't telling you guys that. Well, why not? Because if you guys find it, you'll do God knows what with that shit. No, no, really. After hearing all of that, I think we want to keep it safe. No, no, no. You guys are gonna fuck it up. Hey, listen here, you soundbite! Hey, my mother was a soundbite. Fuck this shit, man. I'm outta here. Hey! Bye-bye. Well, great. Now what the hell do we do? Wait, who put that note on the box anyway? Oh, I did. Another what? Yes. I put it there so it wouldn't be too obvious where it was. Well, is there anything else you wouldn't want to be too obvious? Absolutely. This sheet of paper that says exactly where the gauntlet is located. Can we see it? Sure. Have a look. -see. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me! It's right back where we started! Oh, yes, indeed. That was Jeff's idea. For you see, only the true of heart... Oh, shut up! I hate today. I need a stiff drink. Onward, my friends! Through the peaks and valleys of... Shut, shut up! up! Alright, we gotta hurry before this Malachite guy figures out any of this. Aren't we forgetting something? And in conclusion to our strongly worded apology, we would appreciate it if you didn't hold us liable for any damages, injuries, property-wise or psychological. Um, yeah, this has all been just a dream. Let's go. So where is the friggin' thing anyway? It's over there. In the storm drain of secrets. Okay, everyone be on your guard. Will somebody cheer up, Phalus? Big, strong hands! I think I feel it. It's duct tape to the fight. I got it! I got it! Ugh. Aha! Hey man, I just found out what the internet is. You guys are awesome! Oh, that's great. Really great. Are we cool now? No, I still gotta kill you. Of course. Hands off my friends. Phyllis, you're back! I guess he realized that true friends are made of flesh and blood and not of material possessions. Come on, you guys. That was a character I was playing. 
You take this way too seriously. Yeah, well, could you not come out for me, please? Thank you.